Our age is proud of the progress it has made in men's intellectual development. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to yet another episode of the Half-Life 2 Benchmark. This time it's being done on a 17-inch MacBook Pro. Late 2006 with the Core 2 Duo. So, specs, like I say, a 2.33 gigahertz uh, Core 2 Duo. 256 megabyte ATI Radeon X1600 graphics card. This thing has four gigs of RAM in it, but it only uses about three of that. So, pretty much the uh, maxed out MacBook Pro for 2006. This is the best MacBook, best Apple laptop you could get at the time. So we'll look at my settings here. I will crank them all the way up, 1280 by 800, then we'll go in here. Everything's almost on high already, but we'll push it up. If you can hear the fans on the computer, I keep them running. Because it does get very hot. Root Canal. This is the Steam version of the game. Or rather, no it's not. It's, it is the Mac port of the game, but it's not on Steam. It's the 2010 version that I've downloaded here. Uh, I've already partitioned the hard drive on this so I can't use boot camp, but if I had to guess, um, the game would run flawlessly under Windows using the 2004 version that I used in the last video. I am sure it would run flawlessly and Counter-Strike Source would be excellent too. Uh, if my drive ever fails and I replace it, I will try it. Hopefully uh, something else doesn't go beforehand. So we are taking a bit to load up here, just like we did last time. So, yeah. Waiting, waiting, waiting. We're coming. There we go. Bit of lag, but still going through here. Definitely. Oh. And a weird glitch in this version is that the sound cuts out when it gets really laggy. Yeah, see, like, the sound kind of went out for a second. So. Yeah, some glitchy sound when it gets laggy. It's definitely much better than the last one, or... It's actually better than my 20-inch iMac of the same year. Like, it's actually not horrible, relative to that. So my battery's already low, um, so for the sake of the video, we're just going to go to the settings that I like. Because this thing, you can actually put the settings up a little bit. So medium texture detail, medium... Actually, no, I think I was at high, but we'll just leave it there. I don't know if I was at high to begin with, but I think that you can run it at high. But anyway, these are very comfortable settings. So this is like a medium setting on the game, pretty much. Everything's on medium, and the res is a bit lower. For some reason, I have no sound again. There we go. But it actually runs pretty good here. Let me blow these up. That slows the game down, which it does on a lot of my systems, but could be a lot worse than this, man. new game. Yeah, these settings are pretty good. I do believe that you can turn up the shader detail and uh, texture detail to high without taking too much of a hit. I don't, I can already, I already forget all my settings were at the beginning of the video, but this definitely works. But I think you can turn it up a little bit more. It's really the resolution that gets you in this one. Uh, so the lower resolution is pretty much essential. So a little bit of lag here. If you turn the resolution down more, it would run really good, but... I'm surprised that it makes such a difference running it on this versus my iMac. 
Yeah, see, I mean, it's not the fastest thing, but it definitely does play. So you could play through the game like this without much issue. So. Not bad. Let's see if I hit this thing. Yeah, pretty good actually. Not bad. But for I'm gonna end my recording because I'm low on battery, so I know where it ends. All right. It's just I keep doing that. <laughs> New game. Nova Prospect. So yeah, try messing with the uh, texture quality and the um, shader detail. And I think you'll have it pretty good. Just run it at a lower res and you're good to go. Which, it is unfortunate because it does look really crisp when it's at the highest, but... Or, run it in Windows using Boot Camp. That's the best way, obviously. Excuse me. But if you partition your hard drive like I do, you're out of luck. A little bit of lag. The flashlight slows it down too. Yeah, I'm slowing down here. But these are, I'd say these are acceptable settings. And it's alright. Obviously, uh, most people that play this nowadays are not going to play it on a system like this, but if you're into playing it on a Mac from this era, then this is the one to go with, I'd say. I don't know why I did that. For some reason I do that sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Video thumbnail. <laughs> oh shit, and that one stood up. Alright. Some lag, but not too bad. So go through here. Didn't kill this one though. Anyway. Oh shit, <laughs> that thing almost got me. It's hard to play with a trackpad. But anyway, it's acceptable, it definitely is. So, not bad here, not, not bad at all. And I will be doing a full video showing this laptop playing some other games and just some general stuff on it pretty soon. So, yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now and, let me see. I'm going to shut up now and we're going to do the Anti-Citizen 1 benchmark, so let me restart the recording. Catch you guys later.